now is I'm going to demonstrate the hot air gun method for roasting coffee. And I'm going to start out with some Costa Rican beans, um, Montes de Oro. Um, they're from Sweet Maria's. They, they um, are recommended to be roasted at uh, City Plus to Full City Plus, and I'll probably go somewhere in between those two. And as you can see, they start out as green beans. My main roasting tool is a hot air gun, which is simply a gun used for stripping paint and other, other industrial uses, and held. And I put the beans in, in a stainless steel bowl, and this is my advanced cooling device, a colander. So what I'm going to do is I found that by inverting this small bowl inside the large one, it seems to help the roast a little bit because it concentrates the heat in a donut shape as opposed to dissipating it over the entire um, uh, bowl. And I'll pour in about a third, about, I'd say, a third of a kilo of beans. Maybe, maybe that's a generous third. I have them there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just direct the hot air gun on them and stir it with the wrong end of the spoon because it happens to fit like this. Um, keep making sure that the beans are, are stirred as I apply the hot air. Okay, so now I just turn on the hot air gun. It's going to take a while to, to heat up um, and get the temperature. And the hot air is often enough to do some of the stirring. You can even dip the snout in and stir that way. But I found that to really make sure that things are turned over, it's good to stir by hand also. So you can do a combination. Okay, we've been roasting for about three minutes. The color is starting to change to sort of a dark grassy color. Um, slightly dry grass. I'm going to turn the heat gun back on again, but you can see that there's a mixture of green beans and beans are just starting to change color. As you can see, the beans now a minute later are um, turning a sort of a, a light brown. Still a few green ones, but they're turning nicely. The roast is progressing nicely. Um, we are not up to first crack yet, but in another minute or two or three we will be. Um, you can see some of those little things flying around. That's the chaff coming off the beans. We're going to be entering what's called the first crack stage. And if you heard that little crack, that was one of the first cracks. Um, pretty soon all the beans will be crackling away. first crack is well underway now. You can hear, I hope, about the sound of the gun. Up the, that's what the cracking sounds like. But I have to keep applying heat because at this stage, the coffee still requires tea. It's not essentially cooking on its own solution. We're now done, almost done with the first crack. There's a few, a few holdbacks that are cracking away, but most of the first crack is over. And this is approaching what I believe is to be um, what's called, a, by some people, a city roast. If I stop here, it would be a city roast, and I suspect the coffee would be just fine. However, I'm going to go to right into the second crack. Um, I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit because I want the beans to cook about a minute or two or even three before the second crack. Um, supposedly, it helps the flavor develop. Otherwise, I could go right into the second crack, which is actually a different sound than the first crack. And um, I'm going to go right into the second crack and then stop. The beans are taking on a slight shiny appearance. Um, first crack is completely over. I'm waiting for a second crack to start. It should be starting very soon. Um, the beans have gotten a slight shine to them. They're not oily, but they're getting a little bit shiny. And that you hear now is the second crack. That was the first one. I'm going to turn off the heat gun for a second so you can hear a little bit better. second crack is now started in earnest, and I'm going to stop the process right now 
which I believe to be a, a Full City Plus. And now the trick is to cool it off quickly. The, the stainless steel bowl is quite hot, probably close to 400 degrees, so I use a, a towel to pick it up. And what I do is I spray it with a little bit of water. Not a lot, because coffee doesn't like water, but just enough to sort of arrest the cooking, because the coffee now is cooking on its own volition. It's actually kind of burning itself. And so what this does is it, is it, is it stops it. Um, and then I toss it a bit. The coffee is still hot enough so that all the water will become vapor and it won't remain with the coffee. You don't want any, co any water on the coffee. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, the coffee is now cool, and I'll just put it into a, a jar to store it. gases will be escaping for the next uh, day or so and if I cover it up too tightly it, it might actually have enough pressure to burst the jar so I'll cover it up lightly and I found that the next day if I cover it up tightly and when I open it up again you can actually hear the, the gases escape but by that time there's not that much and I'll let it 